the books you want to read, the books you want to own. The best and newest books are at our Scholastic Book Fair. You'll find the funniest books, the most thrilling adventures, and the most amazing stories. Check them out at the Scholastic Book Fair. The master of bad attitude is back in an all-new book that's guaranteed to put a frown on your face. Thanks for nothing. It's our favorite cat with all her negative wisdom. I have an idea. Go away. In an exciting book filled with many grumpy moments as well as fun and games. I had fun once. It was awful. Pick up a copy of Grumpy Cat, a grumpy book at your Scholastic Book Fair. For 12-year-old Anton, no place is safe, and there is nowhere left to run, nowhere left to hide, except underground. Long-forgotten caves below the Ukrainian countryside are his one chance to escape the enemy above. His one chance to survive the world war that is destroying everything in its path. So he lives deep under the ground in cold, black caves and tunnels, in constant fear of being caught by Nazi soldiers. Until one day, when he must make the biggest decision of his life and go from hunted to hunter. Now Anton must fight back against the enemy that seeks him. He must rise from the hidden caves and save his family. Inspired by actual events from World War II, The Enemy Above is an exciting story of war, survival, and courage. Look for it at your Scholastic Book Fair. Telgemeier, and you might know me best from my graphic novel, Smile and Sisters, which are both stories about me. My newest graphic novel, Ghosts, is not a story about my life, but it was inspired by this place. I grew up here on the coast of Northern California, and as you can see, it's a beautiful place. The ocean and the hills and the trees. And yet, as a kid, I hated it here. And that's partly because it's not always this nice. Sometimes it's windy and cold and very, very foggy, and I was miserable. There's a huge Day of the Dead celebration in the book, and I've been curious about Day of the Dead for a very long time. I grew up in San Francisco, which has a huge Mexican-American culture, and spent a lot of time in the Mission District growing up, and I was always interested in developing a story that sort of had roots in that place. I'm here in San Francisco's Mission District in Balmy Alley, which is full of murals that inspired me when I was a kid. They inspired my art, and there are murals and ghosts as well. And in the book, some of the murals come to life. In the story, the characters are dealing with a bit of loss, and so bringing it into the Day of the Dead was a really interesting way to have the characters celebrate the idea of loss, and it meant a lot to me as an author as well. I think you'll like reading Ghosts because even though it's a little bit scary, it's still funny and there's a lot of adventure in it and the things that Cat goes through are pretty awesome. You can find Ghosts at your Scholastic Book Fair. These twins may look the same, but they're very different. Caitlin doesn't like trouble. She always looks on the bright side. On the other hand, Cassie seems to enjoy making trouble. But they do have one thing in common. It's called twin tuition. Cassie and Caitlin have the ability to see things before they happen, which up until recently seemed harmless. But now some of their visions have become more dangerous. And if they don't step in to try and change the future, someone they love will get hurt. Now is the time for Cassie and Caitlin to put aside their differences because what they see must never happen. From real life twins and TV stars Tia and Tamara Mowry comes a story of twin sisters who discover that working together is the only way to a happy ending. Twin tuition, double vision, at your Scholastic Book Fair. And that's what made that the greatest gaming secret of all time. Oh, hello there. I'm avid gamer and games writer Ryan King, 
Scholastic's asked me to tell you, the people watching, all about my new book, Game On. But first, here's a little about me. So tell us a bit about yourself. Like what? Maybe a little bit about your background. What was the first game you ever played? First game I ever played was Shinobi on, no, Ninja. It was called Ninja, which came out on the Master System back in 1883, I think. Hardest game I've ever played. Still playing it to this day. Still can't get off level three. I, I don't want to talk about it. What's Game On about then? Game On's a celebration of all the best things that happened in recent gaming history. It's got features on all the best games that have come out in the past 18 months. Games like Minecraft, World of Warcraft, Zelda, Disney Infinity, Skylanders, and FIFA. I've also spoken to some of the biggest gaming YouTubers out there. Guys like Fantabulous, Mr. Miola, Stampy, and YBR. But that's not all. I've also included a bunch of guys to help you become a better gamer. Before I was an awesome gamer, I didn't have any friends. And now, I've got two. So there you go. That was everything you need to know about me and my book, Game On, along with a few hidden gaming Easter eggs along the way. Be sure to pick up your copy, available from Scholastic Book Fairs now. Game on! We're still filming this, are you? Ever wonder what it would be like to have your own football team? Well, I'm Ryan Zeno. I'm only 12, but I've got one. It all started when I found out two amazing pieces of news. First, that my dad owned a football team. And second, that I was going to be the new owner. Believe me, having a multi-million dollar football team is a lot harder than it sounds. And all this attention doesn't help either. Especially because what I really want, more than anything, is to be quarterback on my middle school's football team. But a lot of kids, including my own teammates, are waiting to see if I fail. So now, I've got to prove myself as a player and as an owner. Score a copy of Kid Owner at your Scholastic Book Fair. There's Ordinary School, and there's Magic School. And then, there's the Upside Down Magic Program at the Dunwiddle Magic School. That's right, Upside Down Magic is back in Sticks and Stones. The Upside Down Magic program is for students whose talents are a little unusual. Like Nori, by the age of 10, most students know how to turn into a kitten. But when Nori does it, her kitten sprouts dragon wings. Or her friend Bax. Instead of turning into a kitten, he can turn into a big gray rock, whether he wants to or not. Yes, strange things happen in the Upside Down Magic program, but now they're stranger than ever. Upside Down Magic, Sticks and Stones. Look for it to magically appear at your Scholastic Book Fair. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, I, Victor Starspeeder, one of the best Jedi, like ever, am preparing for battle. Actually, I'm supposed to be getting ready for my new school, Jedi Academy. I'm so excited to do crazy Jedi stuff. I don't even care that my big sister Christina goes there too. But when I get there, Master Yoda tells me, with the theater we go. Drama club, you will join. <laughs> now, I've got to learn to be a Jedi and help put on the school musical. As if being the new kid wasn't hard enough, a new class there is. Train them, I must. <laughs> Jedi Academy, a new class. Look for it at your Scholastic Book Fair. Some people say that during the darkest hours of the night, life returns to this cabin. This is where old Auntie lives and appears each night. And according to the legend, she takes a girl and keeps her for 50 years, then lets her go and takes another. At first, Daniel didn't believe the story, but then his sister went missing. Or as the town folks say, she was took. Erica, where are you? Erica. And it's up to Daniel to get her back. Master ghost story writer Mary Downing Hahn brings another tale of horror and suspense to your scholastic book fair, Took. Erica. 
a magical letter with a spell. Phoebe will follow its clues around the city of London in hopes that it will bring her and her sister closer together. From the author of My Secret Guide to Paris comes another mysterious and magical journey in Sealed with a Secret. Your first clue begins at your Scholastic Book Fair. Fact. Zombies are the walking dead. Fact. Zombies eat your brains. And fact. When you're the last kids on Earth, in a world of zombies and monsters, you're going to encounter trouble. And a final fact. The last kids on Earth and the zombie parade is at your Scholastic Book Fair. Don't be the last kid to find out what Jeff Kinney, author of Diary of a Wimpy Kid, calls terrifyingly fun. Look for these great books and much, much more at your Scholastic Book Fair. Don't miss it.